Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Stacking the Shelves post here at the Book Life. Uh, just a few books this week, not a whole bunch, but some really exciting stuff. So let's get started. Uh, first up, I got for review The Lost Prince. I don't know if you can see that on there or not. Uh, from NetGalley and Harlequin. I was very excited when it went up in Harlequin and... Uh, went ahead and, and grabbed it right away. I was a big fan of the whole uh, Julie K Kagawa series. I actually am not a fan of fairies so much, but people convinced me to read it and I really loved it, so I can't wait to read about Ethan now all grown up. Although I'm told that it's a little weird because now he's like hot guy in the YA book, but whatever. So I'm really excited and it's actually kind of like a tradition for me to read them on an e-reader because I've read the entire series on my Nook. It was one of the few series that I actually got the whole thing right on my e-reader. So but I'm very excited for that. Hoping to read that soon. Uh, the next thing I got is an arc of Nobody But Us by Kristen Holbrook. I actually won this from her. She had a giveaway on her blog when she first got her arc. She was you know, she says, yeah, I got them. Now I want to give one away. And I I won. I was so excited. Um, and this one, it's about Zoe and Will. Uh, they're a couple of teenagers. And uh, upon Will's 18th birthday, they decide to run away together. And I guess they run into some trouble, some danger along the way. On um, the back of the book here says, it's Bonnie and Clyde meets If I Stay. Uh, perfect for fans of Nina LaCour, Jenny Han, and Sarah Zar. So I'm super excited to read it. Uh, this has been on my uh, list for quite some time. So, and I love contemporary and it's contemporary, so I'm just bound to love it anyways. So this one will be soon too, although it does not release until February, so, but I'll probably read it before then anyways. Um, and then the last thing that I got, I picked up a copy of The Waiting Sky by Laura Zeeland. Zeeland, I'm not really sure which pronunciation is right on this. I love the cover with the tornado, Ooh, the tornado in the bottle, the jar. Um, I guess it's about storm chasers, obviously, but it's, uh, says 17 year old Jane McAllister fleeing a troubled relationship with her alcoholic mom spends the summer in the plains chasing tornadoes. It looks like, oh, she chases her brother, her best friend, and a handsome boy named Max. So this is also a contemporary and I like the added element of Storm Chasers. I'm positive I've never read a book that has characters who are Storm Chasers. So, and I've heard really good things about it. I'm excited to start it. It's not a real big book, so it should be a pretty quick read. I'm hoping to do that one soon as well. Uh, I, of course, I'm hoping to read all my books soon, and that'll never happen. So, we we shall see. But keep a lookout for read that on the blog. Um, and that is actually all that I got this week. Uh short week for me, which is okay because my pile is large enough as it is. Um, I Let me know what you guys got this week. Leave them in the comments and I will check them out. And I hope everybody is having a great weekend.